Hello and welcome to the Daily Brown Bag. Today we're going to be talking about 2015 benchmarks for content marketing. I'm Chad Hill and joined by Adam Stetzer. Hey, good afternoon, Chad. Welcome to the Brown Bag. This is a great topic, content marketing. We talk about it all the time. We talk about strategies. We write about it on Search Engine Watch. The post just went up today. But people are always looking for benchmarks and understand what they are doing right, what they should be doing better, what are other people doing. And that's what we're covering today, Chad, the 2015 Benchmarks, Budgets, and Trends Report. This is something that comes to us from the Content Marketing Institute and Marketing Profs. And this is some great data. Let's get into this. This is the fifth year they've done this study. And they're looking at what uh, B2Bs are doing for content marketing. It's based on an online survey of over 1,800 B2B marketers in North America, and that is an outstanding sample size, so this is reliable data. Again, fifth year they've done it, and they did it again this year in July and August of 2014. So we're covering it today. Here are some of the highlights, Chad. It showed that the majority of B2B marketers have a content marketing strategy, which is good to hear. Things come a long way. That's 83% said they did. 14% said they did not have a content marketing strategy, and 3% were just unsure, probably don't know what content marketing is. 70% of those surveyed said they're creating more content this year in 2014 than they did last year in 2013. So the trend to create more content is still on the climb. Chad, I know we've talked about that quite a bit. I know we've talked about content overload and burnout and how you get that noticed and there's just a whole host of good conversations to have, but the trend continues and that's one of the takeaways is that people are creating more. But this is also interesting. 55% plan to increase their content marketing budgets in the next year, so this is not going to stop. And B2B marketers spend about 28% of their marketing budgets on content marketing, and I know that number is growing as well. Almost half of those surveyed, 48%, said they don't document their content strategy very well. 35% said they do, and it leads me into my question for you, Chad, which is I know a lot of small businesses in particular struggle with trying to get their arms around the return on investment of their content marketing. What do yeah, we have to say about that? They really do, and you know this this survey really is chock a block full with some really interesting stats that confirm a lot of the things that you know we see on a daily basis. But it's good to see the numbers and realize that we're not alone in in this in this process here. Um, but I think, as you said, Adam, that 21% said that they can successfully track ROI, and this is a lot like that stat we covered a couple months ago, where we talked about social media. Everyone knew they needed to do it, but a lot of people, very few people. I think it was around half could actually knew how to measure it. Same thing is true here. But the one thing that, that, that did come through is that those who do have a documented strategy actually said at a higher rate that they were able to track the ROI, probably because they've written down you know, what their inputs and outputs, what they're going to be measuring. And that's, that's really important. Um, in terms of creating quality content, people said that that really is one of the biggest challenges. 69% uh, percent said that their top priority is figuring out how to create better content and Adam again as you said as the as the amount of content has increased and more and more people are using content marketing you know the bar has is, is higher it's harder than ever to really create um, something you new and unique a lot of other stats here a, a couple interesting ones that top five tactics for b2b content marketing 92% um, said they use social media 83% said that they're using um, e-newsletters 81% Articles on company sites, 80% blogs, 77% um, in-person events, and then in terms of the most effective tactics, 69% um, said that in-person events were the some of the most effective content marketing tactics for them. 64% webinars, webcasts, and 60% video blogs, um, videos and blogs tied for third. So again, those last three stats are really like what format of content, and again, content can take the form of a blog post, or in this case, it can actually be a, an in-person event that someone's inviting someone to. Uh, so I think the main takeaways from this are that there is a lot of content out there, um, but the real key here is having a documented uh, process in place is really key. And again, as we said, 60% of those who have a documented strategy in place said that their, co their content marketing is highly effective versus 32% who didn't have a strategy said that it was highly effective. So real big difference there. Um, again, this starts with, with uh, quality research, high quality research, um, great content, editorial, video, whatever you're doing, um, building that editorial calendar and schedule in terms of not only what you're writing but how you're going to promote it, 
And then, of course, at the end, you need to track and measure. And I think those are more and more, you really need to track and measure traffic to your website, leads, um, engagement, some brand uh, awareness. So these are all things that are often really hard to measure, and it's no different here with content marketing. Well, great. Well, that's our coverage of the 2015 Benchmarks, Budgets, and Trends Report for B2B Content Marketing, a survey of over 1,800 B2B marketers in North America done by the Content Marketing Institute earlier this year. We appreciate you joining us. We'd like to hear your comments and your thoughts on the trends and direction you see content marketing going and how are you using it with your small business clients. We always want to hear that. And lastly, we hope you'll subscribe to our videos so that we can see you again real soon. <laughs>